At the proceedings, a compliance officer with Zenit Bank, Mr. Taslima Jumo, took the witness box to testify on allegations of conspiracy, unlawful retention of proceeds of theft, and money laundering brought by the EFCC against Mrs. Nenadi Usman, Mr. Femi Fani Kayode, Danjuma Yusuf, and a company, Joint Trust Dimensions Limited. Through the witness, the EFCC attended in evidence a statement of accounts belonging to Mr. Fani Kayode. The admissibility of the document had been a subject of heated debates between the EFCC and counseled Mr. Fani Kayode, Mr. Norrison Quakers. However, in a ruling on the contentious issue, Justice Rilwan Aikawa held that the document had been properly certified by the EFCC. The witness then went on to narrate how certain funds running into millions of Naira were deposited into the account of the fourth defendant in the case, Joint Trust Dimensions Limited. He identified the third defendant, Danjuma Yusuf, as the sole signatory to the company's accounts. The witness also testified that some of the funds were then transferred to the accounts of Mr. Fani Kayode. Moves by the EFCC to get the witness to identify the source of the funds, however, ran into a hitch, as some of the witness' testimony was not supported by the documents placed before the court. The defense team pounced on this irregularity and argued that the witness could not import into the document what was not contained in it. Justice Aikawa agreed with this submission, and part of the evidence given by the witness on the issue was subsequently expunged from the court's record. In the days ahead, it would be interesting to see how the EFCC proves the source of the funds and any legality associated with its transfer. In the meantime, Justice Aikawa has granted the first defendant, former Minister of Finance, Mrs. Nenadi Usman, permission to travel to the U.S. for medical treatment. The judge ordered the release of her passport to enable her travel on the 18th of December. The court also directed Mrs. Usman to present herself for her trial at the next adjourned date of 31st January 2018. She is to submit her passport to the Deputy Chief Registrar of the court on or before the date failing which appropriate sanctions will be awarded against her. Shola Shoyeli, Channels Television News.